This video is about chemical reactions. So in a chemical reaction, atoms combine in a different way to make a new substance. So it's very different from a physical change. In a physical change, you might see, for example, a um, solid block of ice change into a liquid and in this example there would be no new combination of atoms there'd be no new substance formed it would simply be the ice melting and changing state and this would be a physical change but with a chemical reaction the atoms combine in a different way to form a new substance the things that are combining together we write on the left hand side of a chemical equation arrow. So we would write them over here and the things that react together are called the reactants. These are the substances that react together in the chemical reaction. Then the new substances that are made <coughs> are called the products. So everything on the left hand side are the reactants and everything on the right hand side of the arrow are products. For example, if we were to react magnesium with oxygen, we'd write our reactants here and the product that we would make in this case would be magnesium oxide. Now this is a word equation. We might also want to write this equation as symbols. So we would look on the periodic table to find the symbol for magnesium, which is Mg. We'd then react it with oxygen and we would make magnesium oxide. Now in this case we need to just balance this equation because we've got two oxygens here we need to put a big two over here and because we've got two magnesiums we now need to put a big two over here. I'm not going to talk about balancing equations in this video but if you want to know more have a look at my video on balancing equations. So whether you write a word equation or the symbol equation, you have reactants combining together to form new substances, which we call products. Now, there are several ways we can tell that a chemical re reaction has taken place. Firstly, there might be a temperature change. So the temperature of the reactants may be different to the temperature of the products. That could be an increase in temperature or a decrease in temperature. Secondly, you might see a gas given off. This would be an indication to you that a chemical reaction is happening. The next thing you might see is something called a precipitate forming. A precipitate is a solid which is forming in the reaction. So you might see a precipitate or a solid form. And finally, a pretty obvious one that you might see is a colour change. So this could be the reactants together and when they react the products themselves might show a colour change. So in summary, in a chemical reaction, new substances are formed, which is totally different from a physical change. Reactants are on the left hand side of the arrow and they become products. And there are at least four different ways which you can tell that a chemical reaction has happened.